start standing. Feet under your hips. And go ahead and wiggle your toes a little bit. And if you're not already barefoot, I do recommend trying to kick your shoes off so you can get the full, full foot on the ground just to get some mobility in the foot as well. <clears throat> then I always like to start with three low, deep breaths. So place your hands on your ribs and allow your tongue to rest just behind your upper teeth. Seal your mouth and we're gonna breathe in through the nose. So on this first one, just take a slow breath in. Feel your ribs expand. When you get to the top of that inhale, see if you can get completely relaxed. Maybe your knees soften, your shoulders sink down your back, and you let that exhale be nice and passive. We're gonna do that two more times, and this time maybe you can go even a little slower, a little lighter. You can imagine if a little feather was under your nose, it wouldn't ruffle the feather. That's how light you're breathing and exhale and i like to start this way to really turn on that parasympathetic response the more rest and digest uh, sympathetic nervous system so when we start stretching our body can really relax into it good and now let's go ahead and we're going to start a little energy activation so we're going to send the arms out in front and start to pat the belly now continue to breathe in and out of your nose nice and light and just think about adding some energy to the center of your body, getting some blood flow to your digestive system. If you're pregnant or this isn't right for you, you can just rub, okay? So you can always just rub. It's just about kind of getting some energy and some movement there. Good, now let's all go ahead and rub the belly. And then we're gonna bend our knees and let our hands drag up the sides of our body. Our shoulders are gonna come up and then we drop everything to the ground. And we're gonna do it in rapid succession, almost as if you're jumping on a little trampoline. No impact, just really nice low impact. Shoulders are moving, knees are bending. And we're just pumping that energy through the body. Good. All right, let that go. And we'll take our left palm out. We're gonna pat our chest, bring it down to the hand, and then get those hands, right? They've been at the keyboard, they've been on your phone. They get tight, and so let's go top of the hand, up to the neck and the shoulder, and then we're gonna take our thumb up, and we're gonna come down to the thumb line, and back up, and underneath to the pinky line. And then we're gonna take it down the side of the body, maybe you even wanna lean over a little bit, and then take it across the chest, and we're gonna switch it out, right arm out, and clap. Top of the hand, up to the neck and the shoulder. Thumb goes up, we're coming down to the thumb line. And take it underneath to the pinky line. And then let's bring it back down the side of the body, maybe a little send it over just to open up the side and come back through the center. And then just give your chest a little rub and breathe nice and light. Take it to your solar plexus, right where the ribs open, give it a little rub and then take it down to your belly. All right, a little hinge forward, we're gonna pat our sacrum, which is the flat bone on your pelvis, right above your tailbone. And then let's take it out into the glutes, and I kind of use the heel of my palm and just get in there. They're pretty tough, so we're gonna kind of get in there, massage those glutes a little bit. And now let's take it down the back of the body. So bend your knees, come down the back of your body, and then come up the inside. And then we're gonna go down the outside. We're circling that energy around and up the inside. And then we're coming down the front and up the inside. We're gonna rotate our ribs to the left, right, left, right, rub the belly. Okay, hands are gonna go on the hips. We're gonna do big circles. So step your feet a little bit wider and get all the way around. So imagining you're in a big barrel or a tube and you're gonna really hit all the edges. Especially when we come around to the front, you can think about yawning open the front of the hips and then really setting that tailbone back. Let's switch it, go the other way. Get your hamstrings. Good, all right, come through center. Let's make a fist, so you're gonna close it nice and tight and then open it wide, getting some blood flow into those hands. 
And then let's keep them nice and wide. Send the arms up and drop the shoulders. I'm gonna turn so you can see me. We're gonna flat back over. So from the hips, we're gonna to start to tilt forward and bow. Our tailbone goes back, crown of the head goes forward. Hold there for just a moment, and then if you need, bend your knees, come all the way down. Let your head hang for a second. And now let's lift through the belly. Tailbone starts to get heavy, and we're gonna roll ourselves up one vertebrae at a time until we stack that head up. And we'll do that two more times, a little more fluid. Reach, send it out, come on down, bend the knees, roll it up. And last one. Nice and smooth on this last one. Good. Roll it up. Shoulders roll back and down. Awesome. Okay, this is my favorite stretch. It's a calf stretch. So we're putting the blanket on the ground and we're going to hold on to our chair. So I'm going to hold on with my right hand and step my right foot onto the blanket. So the ball of my foot is up, my heel is down. So we're just having a little flexion there. Now keeping my energy into my heel, I'm gonna step my left foot up onto the chair. If this is too aggressive, your left foot can stay on the ground. From here, we're gonna just play with the pelvis for a second. Give me a little tuck and release. So tuck the pelvis under, send it back, and now lift and come into that more neutral position where your hip points are shining straight ahead, your weight is in your heel, and you should be getting a nice little stretch through the back of the leg here. Good, you'll feel a difference if you let your hips go, you don't get as much of a stretch, right? So draw that navel in and up to your shoulder blades and hold there. Nice, now staying on top of that heel, start to circle your pelvis around and just feel the pelvis kind of roll on top of the femur head as you move it around. And as you do this, you're gonna to start to explore the places where you're a little tighter, and then we'll go the other way. Good, and now we're gonna hold it center, and we're gonna bend that right knee. So it's gonna move the stretch a little bit more into the um, soleus in your calf. And let's do the same thing with the pelvis. Let's just tuck and release a few times, and then come to neutral and then circle, keeping the energy down in the heel. My circles are much smaller on this one. And go the other way. Stretching all around that calf. It gets super tight when we're sitting or when we wear heels. So this is a great one to start with. Okay, let that go. Let's take it out. Just roll the ankle out real quick. And now take that same foot. That top of the foot's gonna stretch back behind you. And you're gonna press the top of your foot into the ground and send your pelvis forward for a nice top of the foot stretch. So kind of stretching up the front of the top of the foot and the shin. And then if it feels good, you can make a little rainbow with your heel, like a little arc side to side. And just kind of explore that stretch there through the front of the leg. Awesome. Now let's do the other side. So left foot is up, heel is down, right foot's gonna step forward. We're going to keep energy into the heel. And then let's just do some pelvic tilting back and forth. And then find your neutral, drawing the navel up. And let's circle. Exploring that range of motion. Good, let's go the other way. And then keep checking in with your breath. Try to keep it nice and light in and out of the nose. Nice, come through center. Let's bend the knee a little bit and do some pelvic tilting here, under and back. Hold your center and circle. Nice, let's go the other way. So this is just a great way to start opening up the back of the legs and come through center. Let's shake it out. And then top of that foot down, imprint the top of the foot, send your hips forward, like kind of dragging them forward and imprinting the top of the foot down. And then if it feels good, ooh, that feels good. <laughs> I needed that one, front of the shin there. Good, a little rainbow with the heel if you like. Nice. All right guys, this is done. We are done with the blanket. You can throw it to the side. We're gonna rotate our chair now, coming into 
I'm not gonna say the dreaded word plank. So I'll just say bring your hands onto the chair and step back into a long line. Yeah, you can have your feet spread a little bit, maybe about shoulder distance. And we're gonna round through the spine. So feel your heart really lift up and beyond your shoulder blades so we're not dumping into the shoulders. Start to nod your chin, lift your ribs like a candy cane, and then send the hips back and come down, lower the heels, come into a little modified downward dog stretch here. Let's feel the back of the sit bones reaching up to the sky, keeping your ribs lifted and engaged, just so we're not putting too much tension in our low back. And then I'm gonna take my right hand and I'm gonna reach it towards my left ankle, giving myself a little twist. Come back through center, left hand goes to the right ankle, little twist, come back through center, and then we're gonna peel our heels up and we're gonna round our spine, spinal wave back into that long line. Let's just do that a couple more times. Spinal wave back, heels down, one hand to the outside ankle, twist, other hand, twist, come back, spinal wave, Shake it out one more time. Spinal wave, take it back. A little rotation and twist. And rotate and twist. Oh, it feels good. Coming back. Let's hold this center one more time. Feel that nice stretch under your armpits. Let's soften one knee and then the other. So as I soften my right knee, I can think about my left sit bone trying to draw up towards the sky more to increase the stretch there and vice versa, softening the left knee, right sit bone tries to stretch to the sky. Good, and if it feels good, you can even add a little twist of the rib cage. Just kind of move it around, come back through center, and let's just step it in and roll ourselves up, shoulders down. Good guys, let's take a seat. We're gonna do a little hip stretch here. So let's take a seat. We're gonna sit up nice and tall and close to the edge of the chair. And let's take the left ankle up on top. We'll flex that ankle. So sit up really, really tall. We wanna make sure we're not sitting back onto our tailbone and rounding our spine. So sit up tall and gently glide the left thigh towards the ground. Sometimes I even like massage or just kind of move into that hip for a second. Nice and gentle. And then from my pelvis, I'm gonna let my spine come forward in back. So again, it's not about how low I can bring my chest, but really how I can move through the hips. Like there's a little gear and I'm gonna spin the gear forward and then come back up. Good, let's come forward and hold it. And then we're gonna go side to side. Like a little rainbow with the crown of your head. Nice, let's come through center come up to the top, and now take this left leg and bring it all the way on top, and try to kind of glue your legs towards each other. So we're gonna glue them in. Now take your arms nice and wide, and we're gonna take the right arm over the left arm, palms still face out, bend at your elbows, and then see if you can attach the hands. And if you can't, that's okay, you can just hold on to your right arm. If you are attached, gently press your palms together to really spread your shoulder blades apart. And then let's take just little circles here. And go the other way. And then we're just gonna do a couple of these. I'm gonna turn to the side just to show you. We're gonna round the spine, take it down. And then lift and lengthen the spine, take it up. And round the spine, take it down and lift and bring it up. One more, keep pressing those palms together and spreading the shoulder blades apart. Good, come back into your neutral. Go ahead and uncross your legs. Let's send those arms out. Rotate the palms up. We're gonna do this a few times, just getting that nice little rotation here. And then we're gonna do the other side. So left ankle, oh sorry, right ankle goes on top. Let's take a moment to imp, like press that right thigh down, get into the hip, maybe even give it a little massage. <sighs> nice tall spine. Let's come forward and back with the spine, moving from the hips. I think about like keeping
keeping my waistline nice and long or like keeping all the wrink the like having no wrinkles on the front of my shirt because if i wrinkle my shirt i'm probably slouching right so try to stretch your shirt long let's hold it forward a little side to side awesome and come up and now we'll cross that leg on top and just kind of glue the thighs towards each other take those arms out we're going to take the left arm over bend and hold on to those hands imprint the palms towards each other add little circles go the other way And then let's go flexion. So round the spine, bring it down. Lift the spine, take it up. Round it down. Lift it up. One more time. Good, come back through center. Let's take the arms out. Let's take the legs down. Rotate the palms up. Let's bring them up overhead. Drop the shoulders down the back. Rotate your palms, nice open hands. Come all the way out and then flex at the wrist. Push the walls away and feel a nice little stretch through your hands and the nerve glide there. So shoulders are relaxed, elbows can be a little bent. We're gonna go to palms down, palms up, down, up, and take it all the way down. And that is it.